So Clive was a serial entrepreneur, wasn't he? Yes, Clive isn't one for sitting back and not starting up a business. So there was already some plans afoot for a mobile version of the um, Spectrum that he, he wanted to bring out what, un under, under the uh, project name Pandora. Once he was free of the shackles of Sinclair Research, he uh, started up a uh, new company, Cambridge Computers, and they come out with the Z88, which is a Z80 based machine, the same as all of the other Spectrum range. He was very wed to that Z80, wasn't he? It was, yes. And it's a cheap, reliable, good, decent processor. So, uh, yes, they were tried and tested. Although there was quite a few changes which he made with this one. So, for example, it does actually run BBC Basic as opposed to the old Sinclair Basic. Um, but it's also got built-in apps for, um, well, there's the, the word processing, spreadsheet, diary, calendar is all enclosed in one app. So that's actually a really, really good, good bit of software there. As a, a, a mobile type device in its own right, um, it, w it was groundbreaking. You could actually do, do computing on the move. Um, so yeah, it's... Oh wow, okay, so diary... Pipe Dream? What's Pipe Dream? Pipe Dream is, it's a word processor and it's a spreadsheet and it's a calendar and it's everything all in one and it is actually a really good flexible way of doing doing business documents as opposed to a separate Word document, a separate Excel. You can actually embed everything all in all in one package there. Did it get taken about and used? It's the ideal machine for commuting into London by train. You can sit there on the train, you can do, do your work on there. Um, you can plug it into a modem when you get home and upload your data back to the office. Um, it, it is quite flexible for things like that. So when was this actually been out? Uh, this came out in 1987. Okay. Um, so and at the time I think it retailed for £399, um, which was probably a little bit over the price of what people wanted to pay. Um, and it, and it didn't, didn't go on to, to huge success, but um, yeah, to consider the kind of specs now in, in terms in terms of an iPad, well, you've got a 10 inch screen, you've got physical keyboard, you've got built in apps. There were other companies which made and sold their own software for it. And there's the software packages you can get to upload data between that and your PC so you can copy your files to it. There's a plug in memory cards for saving your data or loading new, new applications on there. Those are solid state. So there's either a RAM chip or a ROM chip in there. And you just plug that in a bit like game packs, I suppose. In the yeah, there's console. there's there's three sockets under there, and you can get it to communicate easily with other things. And what the battery lasts about what a day or something? Uh, the the battery lasts for just over twenty four hours in continuous use, or up to a month on standby. It was a bit ahead of its time, I think, like a lot of things Sir Clive was doing. <laughs> yes. Let's not mention the car. The Sinclair C5. It's a new power in personal transport. <laughs> yes, I've got one of those in the garage as well, by the way. <laughs> we coded things like the Spectrum on a TV with an RF aerial. Okay, now I was wearing glasses for years and years, and it was because of things like that. And the if, if you are so blurred. If you actually go back... And Well, yeah, when we weren't working the piano, we were in front of the 